Okay, a couple more properties that we need to learn. I kind of interrupted to do some examples. Not much left here, though. If m equals n, then the logarithm of m is equal to the logarithm of n. So this is like our golden rule of algebra. As long as you do something to both sides of the equation, it's perfectly legal. So just like we could add a number to both sides or divide a number from both sides or square both sides, we can take the logarithm of both sides, any base you want to, as long as it's the same base on both sides. Likewise, if you have the logarithms already there to begin with, then you can take them off as long as they are exactly the same base. Just like you can square root both sides, you know. You can do something, as long as you do it to one side, you do it to the other side, that's perfectly legal. The only issue sometimes is that you have to be sure, be careful to check your work. Okay, now we have this really cool thing called the change of base formula. This would be used if you want to change a base from something like base 2, base 5, something that's not base 10 or base E, and actually change it to base 10 or base E so that you can do it in a calculator. So if I have a base that I don't want to have, and I want to change it to a different base, I simply do this. Okay, let's apply that to an actual problem. That's one formula you're going to want to know. It's actually, um, instead of memorizing it, there's a way I'm going to show you in the next section or two, a way of doing this without having to have this formula memorized that accomplishes the same thing. But memorize it if you want to, that would be a great idea. I tend to always forget it. Okay, log base 3 of 7. It's base 3, so I can't put it in the calculator. 3 to what power is 7? I have no idea. It needs to be somewhere between 1 and 2 because 3 to the 1 power is 3 and 3 to the 2 power is 9. But if I want to find a, um, an approximate answer with a decimal, then I can't do this in my calculator. I need to use the change of base formula and change it to base 10 or base E. So if I want to change this to base 10, I don't even need to write the 10. I just do log 7 over log 3. That allows me to put that in my calculator. Make sure you always put in the parentheses and close them. And get your decimal answer from your calculator. You could get the exact same answer by doing natural log base E instead of base 10. Just as long as it's both top and bottom, you'll get still exactly the same answer. You can even try it. Natural log 7 divided by natural log 3 should give you exactly the same answer. And it should be somewhere between 1 and 2, like we discussed. That's all I have for you.